I would like to uh, show a project that was commissioned by IED Design School here in Barcelona. And um, the commission actually was to redesign the eating experience at IED itself, which at that moment consisted of a few vending machines distributed across the building and very poorly located next to lavatories um, and in rooms with no ventilation and neon lighting. So after mm, a few weeks of research, during which I conducted interviews with all stakeholders, um, studied eating behaviors and analyzed food trends, I created a persona um, and defined the needs I wanted to tackle. My solution should offer quick and healthy food at an affordable cost while giving a chance to disconnect and or share the, comp the, the meal in company and it all in a comfortable surrounding if possible. Now, when I thought of who I was designing for, the answer seemed pretty clear. ID being a design school, there were all sorts of designers, uh, product designers, fashion designers, app designers, very different specialties, but with one thing in common, they are creative. So I created an experience, a well, based on the saying food for thought, I created an experience around food for inspiration. The proposal plays with the idea of how food and the moment of eating can spark our creativity. And for this purpose, Inspiro provides a series of tools, um, starting with a painter's palette tray with a right uh, napkin, mm, no, a pen included, sorry, a right on napkin, uh, interactive food wrapping with uh, challenges or um, riddles to spark our creativity. And here's a little video. Audio jungle. shame it was a bit cut off, but still I think you get the, the gist of it, what Inspido is about. Um, there was one major constraint for the project, the, the school did not have a license to cook inside, so uh, what I decided to do was um, uh, set up a pop-up kitchen that would offer food from selected restaurants of the area, of the neighborhood, and uh, they would offer their food in a rotating manner at the pop-up kitchen. Uh, the food would satisfy the needs previously established and identified, being quick, healthy, and affordable. And uh, it would be served in a pop-up kitchen within the school and operated by interns of the school. Another um, aspect or the element that binds it all together is the community, linking the school, the students, and the neighborhood. <coughs> change it, okay, didn't know. The restaurants I selected were all less than a 10 minutes walk away from the school, so they could be, be frequented even when it was not their turn uh, at the pop-up kitchen, and the school and the restaurants were visibly linked through the uh, food, the, the bike food cart that uh, was conducted by the students, by the interns, whenever they picked up the food from the restaurant. So they would be driving through the neighborhood and people would see it. And last but not least, the, the users would have all the information, practical information, but also the um, creativity sparking information. No. 
Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. much. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>